Who can forget the moment when the rap world held its breath as Eminem and Machine Gun Kelly ignited a fiery feud? You do you respect Eminem? Is Eminem? Hell yeah. I want to get that clear Hell before you get out of here. This yeah. Eminem channel. I'm yeah. like, you know, you know, if you know, don't, you could tell me, but you, you do, though. No, these dudes, the dudes are fucking legend. He's my idol. In the year 2012, a controversial tweet from Machine Gun Kelly, or MGK as he's commonly known, sparked the flame of what would become one of the most talked about rap beefs in recent history. Just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter, and I have to say, she is hot as fuck in the most respectful way possible because M is king. MGK, a rising star in the rap scene at the time, made a comment about Eminem's daughter, Haley. The tweet, which was considered inappropriate by many, was the initial spark that ignited the feud. Eminem, known for his fiery and often controversial lyrics, remained silent. The rap god, as he's often referred to, chose not to respond immediately. This silence was deafening, considering Eminem's reputation for not holding back his thoughts and emotions in his music. The world watched and waited for a response. Would Eminem retaliate or let it slide? Fast forward to 2018, Eminem dropped his surprise album Kamikaze, and the rap world was in for a treat. Um, you also in this album, uh, you went in on MGK, you guys had a discrepancy. He mentioned it in his response song, uh, Rap Devil, mm -hmm. you know, that let's call Sway and ask him why I can't get on Shade 4 or 5. That was in um, response, so I seen him on the street once, and I didn't know he couldn't come up to Shade at that time, mm -hmm. uh, 4 or 5. And I said, man, come on up, man. And then I had to see him again and say, hey, man, I don't know what the shit is. Yeah. But until that- Started with the daughter thing. So what, what did you say now, about his daughter that you, got him so mad? Yes. What did you say? You know what I said. That she's hot. She's you, hot. Have, you have to admit yeah. she was out of line for that. Uh, I got I, she was 15, too, 16. Look, yeah. look, look. I'm a father. One, I didn't know how old she was. Mm. All, all the headlines said was, this person that we had known through records has, has all grown up. Mm -hmm. That's the headline I saw. I made mm. a comment. You know, I didn't feel like it was disrespectful, but I'm a father. I have a nine-year-old daughter. Mm -hmm. I get it, 100%. And man to man, I'll tell you, I apologize. Can I take the tweet down? Sure. It, it was it was a silly comment to have started all of this. It's it's some it's some silly to trip on. I get I get it if it was like, you know, gruesome words were used or like there was you know sexual implications in it. You just said she was hot. Not she's hot. Her age. So you, you spoke, I said, you you spoke to him behind the scenes. Smash you thought it was or done. Anything you, like that. You said it, you thought it was done. You spoke to Rosenberg. You took the tweet down. You apologized behind the scenes. You thought it was done. Yeah. Among the many diss tracks and fiery lyrics, there was a surprise for MGK. Eminem had finally responded, and it was clear he hadn't forgotten about the tweet. The track was a scathing response to MGK's tweet, and it was clear that the rap god was not holding back. The reason that I dissed him is because he got on... First he said, first, first when he said, I, I'm, a, I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45 or whatever he said, right? I'm my favorite. I'm like, it's only one option. You gonna need a doctor. I ain't talking about the one from Compton. So remind y'all, you just rap, you not gods. And I don't care who got bars. Did he really diss me though? I keep listening to it. Y'all just rap, you not gods. And then somebody sends me a screenshot of his Twitter. And it says, had some shit to get off my chest. You just rap, you not God. Some shit like that. Yeah. And I was like. A reference to the rap God song. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, on the song, he said, y'all just rap, you not gods. And on Twitter, he said, you just rap, you not God. Yeah, I'm gonna take my jabs at you for doing ho shit, like banning me from certain things and, and, and making it difficult in my own record label. I mean, I play, I, like, it's, you know, uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot my little, my, my shots, like in the Tech 9 record, he got sensitive over. It's like, yeah, you're owed that. Of course I'm gonna shoot these. I'm an MC, man, and you're holding me down or you're making it very hard for me had some shit to get off my chest. The surprise diss track was a wake-up call to the rap world. The feud had officially begun, and it was clear that Eminem was not pulling any punches. The world held its breath as they eagerly awaited MGK's response. Would he back down, or would he come back swinging? And with that, the stage was set for a clash of titans. The rap world waited with bated breath, and then MGK fired back. Hello, Marshall. My name's Colson. You should go back to recovery. Well, you replied to his shot. I, re I replied you. to his shot. On Kamikaze. Right. Yeah. He, right. I mean, he gave me a shot on Kamikaze. I woke up Kamikaze, to that. Kamikaze, right. right. Did you anticipate, like, him I mean, having anything to say about you or anything? Because there's been some dig. Yeah. And... He should have said it six years ago. Mm-hmm.
With the release of his track Rap Devil, Machine Gun Kelly known by fans as MGK sent shockwaves through the rap community. A direct response to Eminem's disses this track wasn't just a retaliation it was a declaration of war. In Rap Devil, MGK didn't hold back, he addressed Eminem directly, accusing him of trying to sabotage his career and criticizing his age and relevance in the current rap scene. What do you think of it? It's, it's not bad for him. Mm -hmm. He has some good lines in it. Did y'all really call Interscope to try to shelve his? Fuck no. I, I had never made a fucking call, made a call to Diddy, really? Yeah. I got Diddy's number, just hit him up. Yo, Diddy, what up? Never happened. It didn't feel like a diss to me, it just felt like pitiful. Uh. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Now I'm, I'm feeling bad for something I didn't even have to do with. So, that's how that happened. So he made a reply to my reply. So regardless of what the fuck he wants to say, oh, it was from six years ago, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Wait. I'm telling you the reason I dissed you now. It was catchy, and the message was clear. MGK wasn't going to back down. This wasn't a mere playground squabble. This was a battle of words and reputations, a challenge to Eminem's supremacy in the rap world. MGK, a younger rapper, was unafraid to challenge the veteran, and he made sure the world knew it. The release of Rap Devil set the internet ablaze. Fans, critics, and fellow rappers alike were taken aback by MGK's audacity. Some praised his courage and lyricism, while others criticized him for disrespecting a rap legend. Social media platforms were flooded with debates, memes, and reactions. The tension was palpable. The rap world was divided. The controversy had taken a new turn. This was no longer just about a single diss track, it had evolved into a full-blown rap feud. The stakes were high, and the pressure was on. The world was asking, how would Eminem respond? Yet amid all the chaos and controversy, one thing was certain. MGK had successfully stirred the pot. He had challenged the status quo, and in doing so, he had sparked a fire that would be difficult to extinguish. The battle lines were drawn, and the rap world was on the edge of their seats, eagerly anticipating the next move. Eminem wasn't about to take this lying down. The stage was set for a counterattack, and the world waited with bated breath. The rap battle had truly begun. The question on everyone's mind was, who would emerge as the victor? Only time would tell. In a move that surprised no one, Eminem was quick to retaliate. The rap maestro known for his sharp lyrics and relentless flow, fired back with a track appropriately titled, Kill Shot. Eminem's response was not just a song, it was a statement, a testament to his lyrical prowess and a reminder of his place in the rap game. Killshot was more than just a rebuttal to Machine Gun Kelly's rap devil. It was Eminem, the rap god, reminding the world of his status and his ability to strike back when challenged. He didn't hold back, unleashing a barrage of words that cut deep, showcasing his unique ability to turn words into weapons. The public's reaction was immediate and immense. Social media exploded with activity, as fans and critics alike dissected every line, every bar, every lyrical jab that Eminem threw. The track became the talk of the town, with everyone weighing in on the escalating rap beef. But it wasn't just about the public's reaction, it was also about how this further escalated the beef between Eminem and MGK. Mr. Kelly, I tried to warn you. And Joe Buttons, I'm doing good, baby. I'm all right, I'm doing good. Hey, right, look, machine gun. Look, Marsh. I need y'all to run it, bro. It's a lot being said, I respect it, but you know. The challenge is called the squabble up, cuz, so. Oh, oh, shit. Fresh out the bay back, man. Listen. M, that wasn't it, homie. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know the kid. Uh, what, MGK? I don't even know the kid. But I know you a legend, man. That, that wasn't it, man. You out of pocket, and you ratting, too. You ratting. All that crazy shit, man. You out of pocket, and 
Come on, man. Go get Diddy tied up in that shit. MGK, that first one, when he released it, I'm not gonna lie, Eminem is my boy. Like, I, you know, I, Eminem, I hit Eminem. He already know, I ain't even gotta talk about it. But when I first heard it, I was like, yeah, this shit is pretty clever. But I like to say something to MGK, all right? <laughs> That's all right. MGK, you did a great job on that fucking battle. I was, that's when I, that's when I said, all right, enough is enough. My boy, my bro gonna come back and kick ass and that's, he did just what he was supposed to do. Came back and smashed. Kill shot. Your movie, shout out Nerve. In a, in a, in a 10 episode Showtime series called Roadies. I'm an actor, homie. How disconnected are you? You called me a mumble rapper? Oh my. Yeah, that uh, was like, stupid. Can we just pour some out for this old dumbass? Like, I can't <laughs> even. Like on the floor. <laughs> Jesus, we, we, I can't. We, 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 <laughs> some lauded Eminem's kill shot, praising his masterful lyricism and pointed insults. Others admired MGK's defiant stance in Rap Devil, lauding his bravery for stepping into the ring with a rap heavyweight. This feud was not just about who had the better diss track, but also about challenging the status quo pushing boundaries, and redefining what it means to be a rap artist in the 21st century. The impact on both rappers' careers was profound. For Eminem, the feud served as a testament to his enduring relevance and lyrical prowess, even after decades in the game. His responses to MGK reminded everyone why he's considered one of the greatest rappers of all time. Meanwhile, for MGK, this was a defining moment. Despite being relatively new to the rap scene compared to Eminem, he held his own. He didn't back down, proving to the world that he too was a force to be reckoned with. The feud propelled him into the limelight, earning him a spot in the rap conversation he might not have otherwise occupied. The exchanges didn't stop at the diss tracks. Both rappers continued to address the feud in interviews and on social media, each standing their ground, unyielding and unapologetic. Their passionate fans mirrored this resilience, fiercely defending their chosen side. But the burning question persisted, who won? The answer to this question isn't straightforward, it depends on who you ask, but one thing is clear, this feud marked a significant chapter in the annals of rap history, and its impact continues to resonate. So, who emerged victorious from this fiery feud? The answer to this question isn't as simple as it might seem. When it comes to rap beefs, victory can't be decided by a simple knockout punch. It's more of a 12-round boxing match with jabs and hooks thrown from both sides. The winner isn't just the one who delivers the most hits, but the one who can still stand tall at the end of it all. Do you Very respond slippery. to it, though? Do you respond to what? His last... Like on this... Kill shot? Yes. I had a clip ready. I'll tell, I'll tell you, I had a clip ready. I heard kill shot, and I put that shit back in the holster. I'm like, oh, word. All right. He just... He called me a mumble rapper, dog. I'm like... Why not hit him with another shot just to prove your point, though? Because I was this wasn't even on my path anyway. Mm -hmm. Like, people, this whole thing with me, like, oh, well, this, you know, this just, he's clout chasing. It's just like... In the case of Eminem versus Machine Gun Kelly, the lyrical prowess was on full display. Eminem, the seasoned veteran, demonstrated his skill with complex wordplay and hard-hitting punchlines. MGK, on the other hand, showed that he could hold his own with a raw and passionate rebuttal. Both artists proved their mettle, making it hard to declare a clear winner based solely on lyrical ability. Then, there's the court of public opinion. Some listeners sided with Eminem, praising his sharp lyricism and seasoned experience. Others rooted for MGK, applauding his audacity to stand up to a rap giant. The split was almost even, with fans fiercely defending their chosen side. But perhaps the most crucial factor is the overall impact. Both artists used this feud as an opportunity to demonstrate their skills and cement their presence in the rap scene. Eminem reminded everyone why he's considered one of the greats, while MGK seized the chance to prove he's more than just a flash in the pan. Uh, I think the world was watching, I stepped up and uh, did what no one in the history of hip hop has done. And I think I gave people one of the funnest weeks in hip hop in the last 10, 15 fucking years. So, who won the feud? That's a question only you can answer. It all boils down to personal preference. Do you value clever wordplay and rap experience? or do you appreciate raw emotion and audacious courage? The choice is yours to make. In the end, the real winners are the fans who got to witness this epic rap battle firsthand. This feud brought excitement and energy to the rap scene, reminding us all why we fell in love with the genre in the first place. So, let's celebrate the music, the passion, and the artistry that came out of this unforgettable showdown.